Hello students, welcome back to Infinite Adhyan. So today in this particular video, we are moving towards a new chapter and the name of the chapter is Algebraic Expression and Its Identities. So from the name, we can uh, say that this chapter is based on algebra, which is based on uh, variables and constants. Okay, so in this particular chapter, we will be using con various constants and various variables to denote some quantity, to denote some expression. Everything will denote here with the with the help of constants and variables. Okay, so first of all uh, one by one we will come to know what is variable what is constant then what is the expression okay so let's start the class okay so first we have to know what is uh, expression okay algebraic algeb this word algebraic came from algebra okay algebra means what the branch of science the branch of mathematics which deals with constants and variables okay okay uh, before that let us uh, discuss what is constant and what is variable from the word constant we can say that uh, the value okay the thing that is a value which does not change okay constant means it remains same everywhere for example if we take seven seven or any number seven eight six any number hundred its value remains same isn't it if you write seven here in my board it's below miss seven now if we write seven in america then also its value is same isn't it that means uh, if we if you write this one will understand that is uh, uh, that is the meaning of this symbol is seven okay now variable variable from the name variable means what varies okay uh, the bear is the thing which varies is known as what variable okay so any alphabets or uh, uh, any letters we can write for example x y z any letter so we'll write here x okay x this is variable this is variable b a r i a barely variable and this is constant i hope this is clear to write what is variable and what is constant what is variable the uh, the thing which value changes is known as variable and constant the thing which value doesn't change is known as constant clear okay now this <coughs> to make a expression okay to make expression these constants and variables are joined with one another joined with one another by the four operations of maths that is either this x and 7 will be joined with addition or subtraction or multiplication or division clear any one of them so for the first case if we write uh, a for addition it will be what x plus 7 this means what 7 is added to x next in if we uh, if we put minus sign it will be what x minus 7 so 7 is subtracted from x now if we divide x divided by 7 okay now next is what multiply 7x 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 means what 7 into x clear this is how we use the uh, operations of math to express an expression okay to express an expression clear look this uh, expression is what 7 is added to x or sum of x and 7 this is difference of x and 7 or 7 is subtracted from y this is the what uh, 7 is uh, <coughs> x divided by 7 now this is the product of 7 and x isn't it okay so this is how we can express an expression okay okay our next uh, I, I hope this is clear to you what is variable and what is constant okay our next is what uh, mm, monomial polynomial this thing okay so now based on uh, uh, this okay okay let's write now let's write one more expression for example 7x uh, 7x square okay 7x square this is known as what this is known as an expression isn't it this is known as an expression okay and now if uh, we if we write another expression like this uh, for example 6x 6x and uh, this is uh, m this expression is connected with this with either plus sign or minus sign okay now if i say that this whole is one expression okay this 7x square plus 6x is one expression we can say isn't it okay so in that case this 7x square and 6x each of them will be what each of each of them will be known as terms clear each of them will be known as terms now one term is connected with another term either with 
plus sign or minus sign in the middle of both term you can't find that is uh, uh, terms cannot be connected with one another with divide or multiply okay we can't uh, divide or multiply the terms with each other they either they will be subtracted or they will be added clear it will be look like this either like this or like that after this clear okay okay so this the, the expression is di is divided into two, two categories okay they are our polynomial we know this thing isn't it we are just revising the expression is divided in, into two categories uh, first one is based on terms that is the number of terms okay okay let's write one more uh, one more time one more time one is based on term another is based on degree okay polynomial for example expression expression EXPRESSIO an expression okay expression is divided into two ways okay expression is divided into two ways number one is based based on terms T E R M S terms and this one is based on degree B S E D based on D E G R double -E, degree okay so now based on terms again there are many types of uh, expression number one is monomial expression that is if one term it is known as monomial expression if two term it is known as binomial expression if three term it is known as what trinomial expression if four term it is known as what quadrinomial expression okay we have already discussed that if you don't uh, uh, watch those videos you can watch okay now based on degree this is if if degrees one it is known as linear if degrees two this is known as what quadratic if degrees three this is known as cubic okay so just we'll take the examples of expression okay no need to write this if one term then it is known as monomial if two term okay look for so monomial expression number one monomial m o n o m i l monomial equals what if one term seven x then binomial b i n o m i a l binomial equals what 7 x plus 6 y two term isn't it binomial means two trinomial t r i n o m i l trinomial equals what 7 x square minus uh, x plus 6 trinomial expression then quadrinomial q u a d r i n o m i a l quadrinomial means four quad means four tri means three by means two mono means one miel means expression okay quadrinomial so it will be what seven x to the power three minus seven x square plus six uh, x plus six one two three four then polynomial means what uh, the expression which is one or more than one term these are known as polynomial so this monomial binomial trinomial and quadrinomial are also polynomial okay okay next is based on degree okay so if degree is one so 7x 7x okay now finding degree okay when we're finding the degree we will be only uh, both, uh, considering the variable factors okay variable factors what is factors factors for example uh, for example let us take 6 6 can be written as 2 into 3 isn't it if we uh, find out the factors of 6 it will be what 2 into 3 okay so these 2 and 3 are the factors of 6 okay now if we take an expression that is 7x 7x now this can be uh, splitted as what 7 into x isn't it so this 7 and x are the factors of 7x okay factors of 7x now look so as i told you that uh, in a uh, degree when we find the, when we will find the degree we will be considering only the variable factors that is we will only find we will be considering the those alphabets okay not this constant term okay not these numbers okay so what is the degree of x here there is nothing that means one isn't it so the degree of uh, 7x is what one okay now if we find uh, so this is known as what linear L I N E A R linear. If degree is one, it is known as linear. Okay. So next X is what quadratic. Q U A D R A T A T I C quadratic equals what? For example, uh, seven X Y, seven X Y. Look, the 
we are considering about the variables okay not the, the not this constant so here x is 1 y is 1 so 1 plus 1 is what 2 next is cubic okay cubic c u b i c cubic if degree is suppose for example 7 x square y so look here here 2 here 1 2 plus 1 is what 3 clear so when degree is 1 this is known as linear when degree is 2 it is known as quadratic when degree is 3 this is known as what cubic clear okay so this was the ma basic one okay next one was like term and unlike term what is like term and what is unlike term so let me tell you a like term is those terms which having the uh, same variable factors okay same variable again we are considering about only the variables not the con numbers nor not the core okay we are considering about the variables so like term is that when we finding for example uh, let's uh, write two terms okay let's write two terms here like terms okay like and unlike like terms will be what the terms uh, which have same variables okay same variables for example 7 x square another is 6 x another is uh, for example minus x square okay so there are how many terms one term two term three term okay so like term is what like term is when the uh, variable factor is same so in this case what is the variable factor in this case it is x square isn't it in this case it is what x in this case it is what minus x square isn't it huh? variable factor okay so look uh, as i told you that if the variable factors is same variable factor so look x is x square and x same is is both of them same no this x square means what x into x and this x means only one x that means in this case this x means what x is only one time uh, and here x square means what x is multiplied with two times okay x is multiplied two times so these two are not same so these two are unlike terms but this and this are what like terms clear this and this are like terms because here look x square here also x square now you will be you will be considering but this is minus no need uh, because uh, every number has coefficient one well, every number has coefficient one so it will be what minus one x square isn't it i am i am again telling you that we uh, when when we'll be finding the degree and when we'll be finding the like and the like term we'll be considering about the variable factors okay so here x square x square these are like terms okay and like a like trms terms but this but these two are unlike terms okay un and like okay, unlike trms terms these two also these two also unlike terms okay u n l i k unlike t e r m s terms clear what is like term and what is unlike term if the variable factor is same this is known as like term if the variable factor is don't same or didn't same then this is known as unlike terms clear okay now let's move to a new concept that is addition and subtraction of the problem polynomials okay so before uh, know, uh, knowing the addition and subtraction of the polynomials let us uh, uh, discuss how uh, we can add and subtract the terms okay if we know how to add and subtract the term then we can easily add and subtract the polynomials too clear okay so let us take one term 7x uh, 7x uh, 7x 7x and uh, 6y okay 7x and 6x okay we'll be adding this 7x add add 7x and 6x okay so solution how to add look 7x and plus 6x okay now we'll be taking the variables common okay variables common so what left what left 7 plus 6 isn't it 7 plus 6 left isn't it now 7 plus 6 is means what 7 plus 6 is what it is 13 isn't it so it will be 13x clear now if it is asked that uh, to subtract okay to subtract s u b t r s c t subtract 7x and uh, 7x subtract 7x okay subtract 6x from 7x this is very important okay subtract 6x from 
seven x. This from is very important. Okay, that is from seven x. We have we are subtracting six x. Okay, so we we'll write solution from seven x. Mind it, six x from seven x. So seven x minus six x. Okay, seven x minus six. So we are subtracting six x from seven x. So here again, we will be taking the variables common, isn't it? X. So what left? Seven minus six, seven minus six is how much? It is one, one x. So that means x. <laughs> Clear? This is how we can add and subtract the terms. Okay. Now let's move to the polynomials. We'll be discussing how to add and subtract the polynomials when we're solving the exercise. Okay. Now if we, uh, if I uh, give some examples uh, how to add and subtract, then it will also take time. And when we'll be solving the exercise, then also it will take time, and the video will be long one, and then you will be feeling bored. Okay. Okay, so now uh, let's uh, move to our next concept that is the coefficient. Okay, what is the coefficient of a term? Clear, very easy. For uh, coefficient means what? Coefficient, for example, uh, 7x square. Okay, 7x square. Okay, let's write uh, a one example 7x square plus uh, 6y minus 1. Okay, seven x square plus six y minus one. Okay, so what is the coefficient? Coefficient means what? Okay, now in finding coefficient, okay, we will be finding the coefficient of each term. Okay, this one is an expression, isn't it? Seven x square plus six y minus one. This one is an expression. Okay, so when we will be finding the coefficient, we will be finding the coefficient of each term. Okay, like degree. Okay, degree of each term. Uh, when we'll be finding the uh, degree of a polynomial, okay, when we'll be finding the degree of a polynomial, we'll be finding the degree of each term, and the highest degree of the term is no, is what? It is the highest. It is the degree of that polynomial. Okay, the highest degree of the term is the degree of the polynomial. Clear? Okay, we'll solve that. Now let's come to the coefficient. So for finding coefficient, we'll be finding the coefficient of each term. Hey, there, there are how many terms? One term, two term, three term, isn't it? Okay, so let's find out one uh, 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 coefficient of this expression. So we'll write coefficient C O E F F coefficient of seven x square. Coefficient of seven x square is what? Is seven, isn't it? Next coefficient of six y equals what? Six. Coefficient of minus one equals what? Minus one. Clear? Okay, now look, we are uh, here. It is only uh, only saying that coefficient. If it is uh, said like this coefficient, so we'll write this like this. Okay. Now I will uh, I will try I will try to add one more concept. Okay, numeral coefficient and variable coefficient. Okay, you will be thinking that so coefficient of seven x square is what seven, but in some case we can write coefficient of seven uh, x square is what x square. Why? When? When we are, when it will be asked that find out the coefficient of for example if this is a term okay seven x square is a term okay now if it is if it is asked find what is the coefficient of seven here what will be the coefficient of seven your result will be what x square clear your result will be x square now if it is asked uh, what is the coefficient of x square then your result will be what seven and if if and if nothing is asked and only it is asked that coefficient of 7x square your result will be 7 okay basically we go with the numeral coefficient this is known as what numeral coefficient n u m e r l numeral coefficient and this is known as what variable coefficient v a r i a v l variable coefficient clear and in general, we go with the numeral coefficient like this coefficient of 7x square is what 7, coefficient of 6y is what 6, coefficient of minus 1 is what minus 1, isn't it? Okay. Now, if it is asked what is the coefficient of x square, your result will be what 7, and what if uh, what is the coefficient of 7, 7, your result will be what x square. Okay, look one more. For example, uh, minus 10, minus 10 x square y. What is the coefficient of y here? What is the coefficient of y? You will just put your hand and the remaining portion will be your answer. That is minus 10 x square is the coefficient of y. Okay. Now, what is the coefficient of x square? Put your hand. The remaining is what? 10 minus 10 y is the coefficient of x square. What is the coefficient of minus 10? 
what is the coefficient of minus 10 it is x square y clear this is how we can find out the coefficient okay but again i am telling that in general if it is only it is if it is asked that uh, what is the coefficient of minus 10 x square y your result will be what minus 10 clear okay so now let's move to our exercise that is first exercise that is 6.1 here also the first uh, uh, first question is write the coefficient and the constant term of each of the following expressions okay we have to find out the coefficients and the constant term so let's find out before that let me write the question first and then i hope you will be uh, cleared and i hope you are enjoying the class too okay so exercise 6.1 exercise 6.1 clear exercise 6.1 and question number one exercise 6.1 question number one write the coefficient in the constant term write that you are writing write the coefficient coefficient and constant c o n s t a n t constant t e r m s write the coefficient and the constant term number one expression uh, 5 a b square 5 a b square c number one 5 a b square c minus 4 a b plus 1 minus 4 a b plus 1 clear okay so let's first find out the uh, coefficient and constant term means what very one very easy here which one is a constant term 1 isn't it because this value will never change clear okay so now let's find out the coefficient so let's solution solution now coefficients coefficient okay if uh, the shortcut coefficient of 5 a b square c equals what 5 coefficient of minus 4 a b equals what minus 4 then coefficient of uh, 1 equals what 1 clear so this is how we can find out the coefficient okay now constant term so we'll write here constant term is here here constant c o n s t n t constant term is one okay here constant term is one okay okay let's solve one more uh, minus a b plus two a square b square plus five number two number last one minus a b plus a square b square 2 a square b square 2 a square b square minus 5 okay so we'll write here coefficient of minus uh, minus a b coefficient of this hmm? so look coefficient of minus a b coefficient of minus a b is what here uh, this uh, this every number is divided with one every number is uh, divided multiplied with one every number has its power one okay one is universal one is omnipresent it is it is present everywhere okay so look this a minus b minus a b can be written as what minus one into a b isn't it minus one into a b so the coefficient of minus a b is what minus one then coefficient of 2a square b square is what 2 and coefficient of minus 5 is what minus 5 and the constant here constant term is what is minus 5 clear okay so this is how we can find out the coefficient and the constant term okay so now let's move to the next that is classify the following polynomials as monomial binomial trinomial very easy just by looking you can say if one term no need to explain it the board if one term it is known as monomial if two term it is known as binomial if three term it is known as trinomial okay and the terms are uh, connected with one another by okay let me show otherwise uh, you might not you might be get confused what i am saying when what i am not saying classify the polynomials okay your questions will be question number two classify c l a s s i f y classify the polynomials p o l y poly n o m i a l s classify the polynomials okay 
based on TERMS terms based on terms number one is 2xy 2x plus y so how many term one term two term it is known as binomial b i n o m i l binomial number two so what a square uh, a square plus a minus five a square plus a minus five how many term one two three three uh, sorry, sorry 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 it is known as trinomial t r i n o m i l okay like this you will count and uh, find out the answer that is if it is mono one term monomial f2 term trinomial so the binomial f3 term trinomial f4 term quadrinomial okay okay next is find out the like and the unlike terms list the like terms in each of the following so very easy like terms means what that is if the variable factor is same is known as what like term so then next question also again we have to uh, considering about the variable factors okay and if the variable factors is same then the terms is known as what like terms okay so uh, your question is what list the like terms in each of the following okay the question is number three and an important question so we write list the like terms list the like t e r m s list the like terms in the following for l l o w i n g list the like terms in the following okay number one is six a comma thirteen b square number one six a comma thirteen b square very important and uh, minus two a next is two uh, a square minus b square two a square minus b square yes minus b square next is b c okay b c so first here is a isn't it so we'll find if any number uh, if any x term is there with a no b square yes one term is a this is not a because it is a square so like terms is what like terms so that solution solution like terms uh, uh, like terms isn't it so here like terms is what number one six a comma minus two a one pair of like terms then next if there is any term with b square yes this one isn't it b 13 b square 13 b square yes another b square so it is 13 b square comma minus b square now this is only okay finish this one this one now with a square we we are not finding any term isn't it and with bc also we are not finding any term so only like terms there are only two pairs of like terms one is 6a and minus 2a and another is 13 b square and minus b square clear how to find out the like terms huh? just find out the just you see uh, whether this <coughs> variable factors is same okay if the variable factor is same then it is known as like term and if the variable factor is not same like this one is there it is 6a and here it is uh, 2a square is it same a means only its power is 1 and a square means its power is what 2 okay so both of them are not same so these are not as not like terms but if the variable factor is same this is known as like term okay let us solve one more 2a square b square plus com okay the third one okay we will be solving the now we will be solving the third one clear number three 2a square b square a square b square next is 6 a square b 6 a square b okay next is 6 a square b next is 2a b square next is 2a b square okay 2a b square okay 2a b square next is minus 3a square b square minus 3a square b square next one is uh, 7a square b square okay mm. comma 7a b square comma minus 9 a square b okay so here we have to find out the like terms so number one uh, solution 
a square b square hi the a square b square yes so we'll writing 2 a square b square comma minus 3 a square b square a square b a square b a square b yes another one a square b so 6 a square b comma minus 9 a square b a b square yes another one 2 a b square and 7 a b square so i think here all of the terms is one is same with another 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 4 5 yes all of the term is same okay <clears throat> so now let's move to our next concept that is add the following polynomials okay so we'll be adding the polynomials where is the where is the just look at the board and try to understand and i hope this is clear to you right how to how to there it is uh, find out the like terms on how to list the like terms okay 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 so here list them um, list them um, uh add the following okay add the following question number 4 add add the following of o l l o w i add the following clear add the following number 1 uh, is 3 uh, 3 x square y square minus 4y basically it is number 3 but i am telling it number 1 no problem 3 x square y square 3x square y square minus 4xy minus 4xy okay minus 4xy plus 5 plus 5 this is one term we have to add this term with another term and that term is 2x square y square 2x square y square plus 3xy plus 3xy minus 7 How many terms are there? There are two terms. Sorry, sorry, two polynomials. Okay, this one is one polynomial and this one is another polynomial. We have to add the add add both the polynomials and we have to find out the sum. So we can add the uh, we can add the polynomials and we we can also subtract the polynomials in two ways. Okay, one is horizontal method and another is vertical method. Okay, so vertical means what? We'll be. Uh, uh, And writing one equation here, and we'll be writing one equation here, and we'll be finding their sum. Clear? And horizontal is means what? In only one line, we will add. Okay? No need to add the two lines. So here, I'll be opting for this horizontal one. Clear? Because in vertical one, many of you uh, have uh, gave me a feedback that this horizontal is. A easy one, okay? Because in particular sign changes, and many of you don't know how to change the sign. Clear? Okay. But here also sign will change. But uh, in this way, it seems easy. But basically, the uh, things are same. Okay? No problem. Let's start without wasting the time. So number one is three x square y square minus four x y plus five. Okay? We are adding this term with plus, isn't it? We are adding this term. So this one is two x square y square plus three x y minus seven. Okay. Hmm. So now remove the bracket. You will be saying just now we have put out the we have uh, put in this equal polynomials in the bracket. Now we are removing the bracket. Hmm. And this is the rule. Okay. So now remove the bracket. Look two x square y square minus four x y plus five. Then this one is plus 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 plus. Okay. Mm. Then plus 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 three x y. Then plus minus minus seven. Look here. Anyone any any term is not there whose sign is changed. Okay. The sign uh, as it was in question. This was also same. Okay. But in case of subtraction, you will see that you will uh, see that the sign changes. Okay. Okay. Now uh, how to add this? Now we will be bringing. Okay, we will be. Uh, there is the term having the same. Uh, there is if we will be. Uh, uh, that uh, there is the like terms. We will take uh, one uh, enclosure. Okay, we will be taking the like terms closer because it will help us definitely. Now look, 
I can I can this uh, I can add okay so here three x square y square plus two x square y square is what five x square y square but for you <laughs> if you bring the like terms closer it will definitely help you look <laughs> so three x square y square three x square y square next is this one okay this one is what plus so it will be two x square y square okay next is what minus four x y then x y is what plus <coughs> plus 3xy okay then what left this plus 5 and minus 7 plus 5 minus 7 now very easy okay just take the variables common and solve the coefficients okay clear okay so what to write <coughs> <coughs> sorry 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 so look we will take in the variables common x square y square x square y square okay x square y square so what left 3 plus 2 isn't it 3 plus 2 and x square y square is common okay now we will not put the sign okay we will not put the uh, sign <coughs> clear so uh, it will be what uh, uh, <coughs> uh, x x y x y common and uh, minus 4 minus 4 plus 3 okay minus 4 plus 3 okay minus 4 plus 3 we will put the sign plus okay okay no problem next one is what plus because we are reading isn't it we will put the plus sign no problem Ma 5 minus 7 so 5 minus 7 is how much 5 minus 7 is minus 2 okay uh, if you don't want to write this line also you know problem let's write what what is the issue here no issue now look <coughs> x square y square x square y square 3 plus 2 is how much 5 okay then next x y okay minus 4 plus 3 is what uh, minus 1 isn't it so minus 1 plus minus is minus so it will be minus 1 <laughs> then next <coughs> 5 minus 7 is what minus 2 minus 2 plus plus minus is minus c so your result is what minus uh, sorry 5 x square minus x y minus 2 clear you can write it as 5 as x square y square minus x y minus 2 this is how we can add the polynomials okay now uh, <coughs> let's subtract one polynomial and then we'll solve two to three more questions and we'll conclude the chapter here okay okay so here is our next question and maybe edit <coughs> i know this one is a bit uh, different type of questions and a bit tricky and a bit difficult also but what to do we have to solve okay so here the question is subtract 3x into x my x minus y minus z plus 3y this 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 from that that is we have to subtract this from this definitely this one is greater okay okay so before that we have to solve this part isn't it we have to solve this part and then we have to find out the sum and then we have to subtract clear a easy question but a long long process okay so <coughs> let's start first one is what 3x square 3x in 3 okay let's write the one is first 3x into x minus y minus z then plus 3y into x minus y plus z okay then plus 3z x plus y okay okay sorry 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 <coughs> we have to subtract this from this isn't it so first we have to write that one isn't it 3x plus y into x minus y okay then plus 3z 2y plus z okay 2y plus z hmm? next we have to subtract this one this one isn't it so this one will be 3x x minus y minus z okay then plus 3y this one x minus y plus z okay then plus 3z x plus y minus z okay okay so now let's solve let's start to solve first let's start to let's solve this one and then let's solve this one and then we'll subtract okay we'll find out the difference so look 3 into x is what hmm? 
थ्री ओके फास्ट वी हैव टू लुक ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी मीन्स वाट ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी मीन्स ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर ओके ए दिस वन इज ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी मीन्स वाट थ्री इन टू थ्री इन टू ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर ओके ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर दिस वन इज ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी ओके ए कंसीडर ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी मीन्स वाट ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर ओके नेक्स्ट प्लस उल मल्टीप्लाई दिस वन थ्री इंटू थ्री इंटू टू इज वाट थ्री इंटू टू इज सिक्स इज इन टिट देन जेड इंटू वाई इज वाट जेड वाई देन प्लस साइन प्लस थ्री थ्री इंटू वन इज थ्री जेड इज वाट जेड स्क्वायर क्लियर वाट आई एव डन ए दिस वन इज ए प्लस बी ए माइनस बी ए प्लस बी इंटू ए माइनस बी इज वाट ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर सो थ्री इंटू ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर देन प्लस साइन दिस प्लस साइन थ्री वील विल मल्टीप्लाई थ्री जेड विथ दिस वन ओके विल मल्टीप्लाई दिस वन सो फास्ट थ्री फास्ट दिस वन एंड दैट दिस वन ओके सो थ्री इन थ्री जेड इंटू टू वाई इज वाट सिक्स जेड वाई थ्री इंटू टू इज सिक्स एंड जेड इंटू वाई जेड वाई देन दिस प्लस साइन प्लस साइन ओके देन थ्री हेयर वन इज एंड इट कॉफिशन वन थ्री इंटू वन इज थ्री जेड इंटू जेड इज वाट जेड स्क्वायर क्लियर आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू राइट ओके देन गिव दिस सेकेंड ब्रैकेट देन माइनस ओके देन नाउ वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस वन थ्री इंटू एक्स इज वाट थ्री एक्स स्क्वायर देन माइनस साइन माइनस थ्री एक्स इंटू वाई इज वाट थ्री एक्स वाई ओके थ्री एक्स वाई देन माइनस थ्री एक्स इंटू जेड इज वाट थ्री एक्स जेड क्लियर ओके देन प्लस ओके देन प्लस थ्री वाई इंटू एक्स इज वाट थ्री वाई इंटू एक्स इज वाट थ्री वाई एक्स ओके देन प्लस माइनस माइनस थ्री वाई इंटू वाई इज वाट थ्री वाई स्क्वायर ओके ओके नाउ थ्री वाई इंटू जेड ओके थ्री वाई इंटू ओके फास्ट प्लस प्लस इज प्लस थ्री वाई इंटू जेड इज वाट थ्री वाई जेड क्लियर ओके ओके नेक्स्ट इज वाट प्लस साइन इज इंट इट प्लस थ्री जेड इंटू एक्स इज वाट थ्री एक्स Z okay then plus 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 थ्री वाई जेड ओके देन माइनस माइनस थ्री जेड स्क्वायर क्लियर थ्री जेड स्क्वायर ओके ओके नाउ लुक वन थिंग ओके माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई माइनस थ्री जेड स्क्वायर ओके माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई लुक हेयर माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई एंड प्लस थ्री वाई एक्स सेम थिंग इज एंटेड एक्स वाई एंड वाई एक्स सेम थिंग सो दिस वन विल बी कैंसल सेम थिंग इज एंटेड माइनस प्लस सो माइनस प्लस इज जीरो सो माइनस थ्री एक्स वाई एंड थ्री वाई एक्स इज सेम थिंग नेक्स्ट इज वॉट नेक्स्ट इज माइनस थ्री एक्स जेड माइनस थ्री एक्स जेड लुक माइनस थ्री एक्स जेड एंड प्लस थ्री एक्स जेड कैंसल इज एंड इट नेक्स्ट इज वॉट ओके दिस वन माइनस थ्री एक्स जेड एंड प्लस थ्री एक्स जेड ओके नेक्स्ट इज प्लस थ्री वाई जेड प्लस थ्री वाई जेड एंड प्लस थ्री वाई जेड सेम थिंग ओके सो इट विल बी इट विल बी हेयर ओके Up to this clear, okay. So now we will multiply. We will solve. Let's solve uh, this one, okay. <coughs> And very easy, okay. Just a bit long, long process, okay. Not so long, but this uh, equation is is long, isn't it? This process long only one line. Till now I have written only one line, isn't it? Okay. So now look, three into x square means what? Three into x square. Three into x square equals three x square. Okay. Then minus. Minus three into y square is what three y square, clear? Then plus plus six z y, okay? Then or y z whatever we want to write, no problem. Then plus plus three z square, clear? Okay. Then left what minus minus three x square. This one is minus, isn't it? Then what left minus 
minus minus plus okay minus look here this one is minus this one is also minus so minus minus plus it will be 3 y square clear next is what plus 3 look then uh, minus plus is what minus plus is minus isn't it minus plus is minus okay look uh, now we can directly add this one isn't it plus plus 3yz plus 3yz will be what 6yz isn't it so it will be minus 6yz okay then what left minus minus plus plus 3z square clear here i have just uh, uh, added this too fast okay 3yz plus 3yz will be what plus 6yz then uh, minus plus 6yz is what minus 6y isn't it because minus plus is minus clear okay now look again we can cancel isn't it look 3x square um plus 3x square minus 3x square then uh, minus 3y square then uh, plus 3y square then plus 6 uh, zy and yz then this one is minus 6yz okay so now is anything more cancel this only th to this two left isn't it that is plus 3z square uh, 3z square plus again 3z square so this one is what we have to add isn't it that take the variable common z z square so 3 plus 3 is how much 6 so this is how we can add okay well, we can what what we have done we have done many things isn't it we have done multiplied also we have done addition also we have done subtraction also in this question isn't it i hope this one is uh, you have understood that one clear okay okay so if you have any doubt in understanding this you ask me we'll discuss the same question in the next class okay so now let us solve one more questions and then we'll conclude the chapter here okay that is uh, same thing uh, we have to find we have to multiply the terms okay actually the basic equation is what find the volume of a rectangular box whose length breadth and height are respectively this one is clear isn't it very easy okay so uh, next question is find the volume of a rectangular box whose find the volume of a rectangular box question find the volume find the volume b o l u m volume of rectangular r e c t a n g u g u l a r rectangular box find the volume of rectangular box okay number one uh, 7 x 7 x comma 5 x okay 5 x comma 2 x square okay 2 x square so we have to find the volume of a rectangular box whose length is 7x breadth is 5x and uh, uh, and this uh, height is what 2x square okay so first we have to find how to can we find a, a, a volume of the rectangular box what is the formula it is what length into breadth into height isn't it length into breadth into height okay that means we have to first we have to find out the product of this uh, three numbers isn't the three expression and they their product is what that product is the volume of that okay so now let us uh, uh, let us write here solution solution here length here length l e n g t h length of box b o x length of box comma l equals 7 x then breadth b r e a d t h breadth of box comma b equals 5x then height uh, height of box comma h equals 2x square okay so we have to find the volume isn't it now now volume of the box b o l m volume 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 of the box box equals what length into breadth into height okay so here length is what 7x into 5x into 2x square okay 2x square clear now we'll use the concepts of what exponent and power okay exponents and powers first uh let's have a look here okay so this 
uh, first uh, let's let's separate let's separate the coefficient as well as the variables so this one is 7 into 5 into 2 isn't it and what left is what into x into x into x square clear okay so what left 7 into 5 is how much 5 into 10 is 5 into 2 is 10 then 7 into 10 is what 70 isn't it then in bracket look uh, x into x means what uh, uh, we have to we uh, this a plus m into a plus n is what a plus m plus n isn't it so we have to add the power isn't it so its power is one its power is one its power is two so one plus one plus two clear so it is seven x to the power four clear one plus one is two two plus uh, two is what four so the volume of the rectangular box is 70 x power 4 70 x power 4 so i hope this is clear to you right how to find out the uh, volume of rectangle uh, rectangular box same thing length and breadth and height but only this or we have to multiply this okay so how to multiply separate the factors and the separate the variables okay okay and then if we separate and then we can multiply uh, the both okay we can multiply the coefficient and we can also multiply the variables and they will mingle up clear so this is how we all all the things about the uh, that is uh, algebraic expression and it i and its identities okay so today we'll uh, after solving one doubt question yesterday one of you have commented me that uh, this one you haven't understand so let me explain that this one is from chapter number two that is exponents and powers okay so after after that we'll be completing these today's our, our today's class and the question is find out uh, the value of p okay find out the value find the value find the find the value find the value of p okay this one i have already discussed in our previous videos but due to uh, due to some of the background noises, noises uh, you have told uh, many of you have told me that you didn't understood okay yeah. so let me explain it here again i hope today the sound system is good isn't it find the value of p uh, okay find the value of p if comma if minus 2 minus 2 power p plus 1 minus 2 power p plus 1 into minus 2 power p minus 2 power p equals minus 8 clear we have to find out the value of that p okay so basically uh this is this is from what exponent and powers okay so we have also solved many questions like this that is we have find out the values okay we have find out the values of many questions now what to do okay look uh, here this is in power form isn't it this left hand side is in exponential form but this is in usual form isn't it so first we have to uh, take this minus 8 to the pow power notation isn't it okay okay look 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 here solution uh, minus 2 power p plus 1 into minus 2 power p equals minus 8 okay so we'll write here minus a plus m into a plus n a plus sorry a a to the power m into a to the power n a to the power m into a power n means what a power m plus n okay m plus n equals minus 8 can be written as what minus 2 power 3 isn't it minus 2 power 3 because look minus 2 minus 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 2 into 2 is 4 4 into 2 is 8 minus minus plus plus minus minus clear okay now look base is same isn't it minus 2 minus 2 in middle well so we have equal that means this powers is also same so p plus 1 plus p equals 3 okay so 2p plus 1 equals 3 2p plus 1 2p 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 plus 1 equals 3 now we have to find out the value of p isn't it so one by one we'll remove the remove their sides okay uh, we'll remove the extra number so first remove this one okay first remove this one this one is plus 1 so when you change the side it will be minus so it will be what 2p equals 3 minus 1 okay so 2p equals 2 now p equals this one is 2 is multiplied isn't it so we change the side it will be divided 
so 2 divided by 2 so p equals what 1 therefore value of p is 1 clear now, now i hope you will be cleared okay if not again we will discuss in our next class so today let's end it here and that one was what uh, the uh, all the idea to me i have discussed all the concepts from this chapter that is algebraic expression and its identities again if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section or anywhere we'll discuss in the next class okay okay so today let's end it here before that stay safe stay blessed tata bye bye